So it is really nice to be up here at all, right? Because of the way the world is like falling apart and collapsing into chaos. Like, right, Amanda? Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, crash and burn everywhere, right? Yeah. Um, what, uh, one of the things that I think most demonstrates, signifies the collapse of society as we, as we know it is what we finally come to an end to after 20 years. You know what I'm talking about the Kardashian Industrial Complex <laughs> has finally come to an end. <laughs> I know, right? It's been the duct tape holding our whole society together. Now nothing, right? I really, honestly, I have a lot of respect for the Kardashian universe, you know? I mean, not because of what they do, but because of what they don't do, which is anything. Um, good for them, right? I mean, like, I would like to have that kind of a life, right? Where basically I support my, myself and my whole family all based on a disproportionately large part of my body. I mean, that's how it all began. I mean, I think that's exciting. But you know what? I find that to be a really step in the right direction for body positivity. Because back in my day, when I was a kid, uh, you couldn't have any fat anywhere on your body. Uh, the only way that we ever looked fashionable was if we had severe, debilitating eating disorders and were also heroin addicts. And some of us were willing to do what it takes, you know, but not everybody was. So, um, no, but seriously, at least now, right, you can, you're allowed to, to have some fat on your body, and that's exciting. Um, for me, the fact that the one place we're allowed to have fat on our body is our butts, that's not really helping me. <laughs> you guys saw me walk up here. <laughs> you know? um, I would like to create a lucrative media empire based on, you know, this little muffin top situation. <laughs> and I was like, woo, woo. <laughs> You know, I mean, why, why can't it be sexy and chic to have a, like, po pokey little belly? Like, burp, burp, burp. why, why? Why is that kind of thing? Um, I think I would just have to basically get a celebrity endorsement. And so I'm thinking maybe, uh, spitballing maybe Lenny Kravitz. Um, he could like leak a sex video where he acts like he's really into this, you know? He's like, oh, like, Tracy, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I feel like that helps both of our brands, you know? I mean, he gets to seem like a cool guy that's like really accepting of all kinds of women, and I get to have sex with Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> win, win, right? Um, you know, and okay, yeah, I get it. Welcome to my celebrity fantasy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't really do celebrity fantasies, honestly, because I'm kind of just too realistic. Because, you know, the whole, um, you know, that whole hall pass thing where you have that celebrity that you're allowed to have sex with them because your partner said it was okay, yeah. you know? Like, so how would that work? Like, I go up to Lenny Kravitz and I'm like, hey, guess what, man? I get to have sex with you. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, dude, you are my hall pass, so like, I get to have sex with you. <laughs> He's like, um, well, I'm glad I'm your hall pass, but you're not my hall pass. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. <laughs> like I thought that the one thing stopping Lenny Kravitz was ha from having sex with me was he was worried what my boyfriend would think. <laughs> yeah, I see where I went wrong. <laughs> This is awkward, I'm sorry. <laughs> Big fan, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, so things change, body image things change, you know, beauty things change. I'm already that guy that, that that's like talking about, you know, things are different now, back when I was young, blah, 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 right? So that makes me kind of think like, what are the kids today? gonna be saying to their kids, right? Like, what's their 
back in my day story. And so I think then they're gonna say things like, um, you know, when I was your age, we weren't friends with robots. <laughs> Our friends weren't just a bunch of robots. <laughs> no, we had real life to life human connection that we showed by putting a little thumbs up <laughs> on our social media accounts. <laughs> Sometimes we'd put a little heart. <laughs> and if something was kind of sad, we put a huggy heart. <laughs> That's how we show we care. Those <laughs> some real relationships. And you know, we didn't have designer babies that we like ordered from a catalog and they were genetically perfect, with one brown eye, one blue eye, whatever. We didn't just make them how we wanted them. No, no, no. We just mixed up our DNA all willy-nilly with just whatever random person we thought we were in love with. And we just hoped for the best. <laughs> That's why you don't know your dad. <laughs> okay. So that's just like some of the stuff that changes, but you know, everything's changing. We've got like changes in the way men and women relate to each other, the expectations, everything's changed, right? So we've got like, in the, before, in the old days, you know, men were allowed to have the one feeling, the one man feeling, right? It was anger, right? Men could feel anger and women could feel all the other feelings. <laughs> but just not in there, right? Okay, so, so, so women, they're, they're feeling all the feelings, they're feeling all the feelings, and the man just get angry about it. <laughs> like, Why are you feeling all that stuff? <laughs> Somebody had to. <laughs> you know? But now it's, it's mixing it up, you know, it's mixing it up a little bit. Uh, now men can feel other feelings, <laughs> and, and women can be angry sometimes. <laughs> Not too angry. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> but, uh, so, but you know, it's mixed it up a little bit more, and women are like, I just want, I just want him to like express his feelings, you know. I just want him to say what he's really feeling. I don't want him to be so, you know, held back. And just like, just say what you're feeling, man. Just feel it, you know. He's like, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that really hasn't worked out for me <laughs> in the past. <laughs> I did a lot of sports. <laughs> I learned a lot about probably shouldn't be feeling not out in front of everybody. It's gonna go back. But she's like, no, really, I just, you know, I want to know your real, real feelings. He's like, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try it. I feel kind of sad. I'm kind of confused. And she's like, whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That's like a whole can of worms. Okay. When I said I wanted to know your feelings, what I really meant was I just wanted you to tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So anyway, the point is, my bitches. <laughs> okay. If you want your men to feel some feelings, you need to not all freak out. <laughs> okay. When they actually feel them. All right. We're all gonna have to make some changes. Women, like for real. Men are gonna have feelings. It's gonna be awkward for everybody. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna have to buckle up. Because things are changing, like presuming, of course, that we don't end up in a full-on dystopian Handmaid's Tale scenario, which, you know, I'm not sure 100% that's not going to happen, but 50-50, if it doesn't happen, what we're going to have is more of, you know, women are going to get more and more agency over their own lives, they're going to get more power, they're going to get more influence, and you know what, when that does happen, it's going to be really important that we aren't a bunch of dicks about it, right? Right? And we're also going to want to not be pussies about it, right? Because I think all in all, bottom line, um, 
just as a species, let's stop just bleeding with our genitals in general, right? Right? So anyway, I just want to say um, this has been a so fun time for me. I've gotten to do this first time in my life coming on stand up this, this competition. It's been super fun. And so and I am and I am, believe it or not, and, and I'm hoping not, let's just, if you believe this, what I'm about to say, I'd like you to pretend you don't, I'm at least 20 years older than almost anybody in this room. And, and if I can do a thing that I've never done before, then all of y'all do some stuff, okay? Do some adventures, right? You're alive. Do some adventures. And,